Okay, so if you like to build things or do uh, do-it-yourself projects, well, this is a math prom built just for you. So it's a pretty simple prom here, and I think most of you can figure this out. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is the following. After making a two-foot cube from a four-foot by eight-foot sheet of plywood, how much wood is left? Okay, so this is the problem, and I don't think this is too difficult. Feel free to use a calculator if you think that's going to make a difference, but go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second, and then, of course, I'm going to walk through the solution to this practical math word problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if you like this video or enjoy this content, make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so one more time, you're going to make this uh, two foot cube from this four foot by eight foot sheet of plywood. How much wood, how much of this plywood are you going to have left over? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is eight uh, square feet. All right, now there's a number of different ways you could approach this problem, but if you got the right answer, that is very exciting. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars so you could brag to your friends and family that indeed you are an expert, a certified professional in practical mathematics. So um, one of the things as a math teacher you always hear is like, when am I ever going to use this stuff in real life? Well, if you're in any sort of trade, uh, like you know being a carpenter or anything else like that, you definitely need to know some mathematics. But uh, you know, irrespective of whether you are a carpenter or not, everybody needs to know at least some level of math. And hopefully, uh, most of you out there got this right. Now, if you didn't get this right, uh, one of two things probably didn't make sense to you. Either the problem, you're not understanding the concept here, which is area, or just um, how to approach the problem. So here is our lovely math word problem. And what I like to do is use the rule of three. In other words, read a problem at least three times before you start doing anything here. So we want to make a two foot cube, right? So we need to understand what a cube is. And of course, I'll show you what a cube is in a second from this four foot by eight foot sheet of plywood. And this is a pretty uh, standard uh, size of way uh, plywood is uh, sold. And of course, we want to make sure that, hey, well, one, we have enough plywood, but two, we'll probably have some wood left over. And that's what we're trying to calculate. Okay, now once you have your problem, okay, you want to model your problem so you understand all the aspects of the problem, okay? And the best way to do that is to try to visualize it uh, by some sort of model. And I think this is a good case here where we can uh, kind of sketch out what a cube looks like because if we don't understand what a two-foot cube uh, requires in terms of how much material, then we're not going to be able to answer this question. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. All right, so here is a uh, kind of little sketch of a two foot cube. So a cube, you know, is basically like a die, right? Uh, some dice you throw, you know, it's a square, right? So it's a solid square and uh, each side is two feet, okay? Because it is a square and of course all the measurements here, uh, the length, width and height is the same, which of course is two feet. But what we wanna do here is concentrate and make sure we understand how many sides are going to be required to actually build this um, cube. So we have to say, okay, well, here's one side, right? So there's one, there's two, okay, here's three back there, there's four. So we have four sides that go around, one, two, three, four, and then we have these sides right here. So there's going to be six total sides, okay? We're going to need six sides to build this uh, two-foot cube, and each side has what measure? Well, each side is two feet by two feet, okay? So we have uh, six two feet by two feet uh, uh, squares that we need to cut out of this plywood to construct this cube. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, this problem in this way. So now that we understand that we need six sides of two feet by two feet or two, uh, two foot 
squares, right? Two feet by two feet. We need six sides here, okay? Or six squares of two feet by two feet to construct our two foot cube. Well, how can we measure uh, how much material? Now, you always wanna express this material in terms of area, okay? This is where this is coming in uh, here. So we want to um, calculate the area of this cube, like how much surface area, or actually how much area is required of this uh, plywood to construct this cube. Well, there's any number of different ways you can look at this, but uh, let's just go ahead and do it this way. So we need six uh, two feet by two feet squares, right? So we had to cut all these squares out and then we could uh, get our glue out and our nails and construct this cube. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, two feet squares. Now this is, uh, I'm just kind of building this out this way. A lot of you wouldn't need this model because you could just, you know, uh, calculate this in your head. But just for the purposes of uh, fully explaining what's going on here, here is our little cubes, okay, our little squares actually. So each square is two feet by two feet. Okay, so two feet by two feet, how do we get the area of this square right here? Well, the area of a square is the side squared or just the length times the width. So two uh, times two is four. Okay, so each one of these um, two feet by two feet uh, squares has four square feet. Okay, four square feet. So that's the area here, 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 and here, and here, and here. So the total square feet required to construct our uh, little cube here, two foot by two foot cube, is gonna be six of these, right? We need six at four square feet. So six times four is 24 square feet. Okay, so that's how many square uh, feet we're going to need uh, to construct our lovely little uh, two foot cube here. Now we need to figure out how many, uh, uh, how much square footage is in this four by uh, eight uh, piece of plywood. Okay, so we're gonna do that next, but before we do that, I'm going to ask you to do this, which is to consider subscribing to my channel. That really does help me out, but it helps me help other folks that are one, interested in math or need help in mathematics. So uh, if you do choose to subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell. And if you're new to my channel, I have over 2000 plus math videos from basic math to advanced math and everything in between. And I'm talking basic stuff like fractions all the way to stuff like calculus. So trigonometry, geometry, and a ton of algebra. So if you are interested in those topics, please check out my, all my content on my channel. I made it for you. Okay, so back to the problem. Here is our plywood, right? So we already figured out how much uh, square footage we need uh, of this plywood to build our two foot cube. So we do have enough, right? Well. We first need, well, we do have enough based upon, first of all, understanding the square footage of the plywood. So this is a four by eight uh, piece, four feet by four, eight feet piece of uh, plywood, which is a pretty much a typical way plywood is sold. So to get the area here, the area of this rectangle is length times width. So four times eight is 32, but 32 feet squared. Make sure you're using the correct units of measure. This little mark right here means feet. So if we're uh, measuring our uh, dimensions here in feet. When we take feet times feet or length times width, we're going to end up with feet squared, which is a unit of measure for area. Okay, so the plywood has 32 feet squared and our cube, again, was 24, uh, 24 feet squared. So this is just very basic arithmetic, right? So we have 32 feet right here from our plywood. So we need 24 feet. How much plywood are we going to left over? Well, this is super simple. All we have to do is subtract 24 from 32 and we end up with uh, eight square feet. Okay, so this is the right answer, but let's suppose, uh, you know, you were still confused about this. Let's go back to um, our concept of this cube, okay? So if you understand uh, the cube in terms of how many uh, two foot pieces two foot by two foot squares we need. Remember, we need um, six uh, uh, two foot by two foot squares to construct this cube. So what we can do, okay, is you can be like, well, I'm gonna split my four foot by eight foot uh, piece of plywood in half, right? So if I cut my four foot uh, piece of uh, plywood in half this way, I'm gonna end up with two uh, pieces right here. This is gonna be two feet and this is gonna be two feet, right? That'd be like these little strips right here. And then I can just uh, go down the mark right here. If I cut this eight foot, uh, uh, the plywood this way, okay, this is gonna be four feet. If 
But if I cut it again, I'm going to have 2 feet and 2 feet. So this would be 4, this is 4, so this is a total 8. So I could kind of just um, uh, slice up my piece of plywood in all these 2-foot squares like this. So after doing this, I could be like, all right, well, how many um, pieces out of all these guys right here do I need to construct my cube? Well, we need 6. I need 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, and so how many remain? Well, I have this one and this one. Okay, so I have two of these two foot uh, squares remaining. So what's the area of each? Well, this is going to be two times two or four. And here, this is going to be two times two or four. And four plus four is eight square feet. Okay, so just a different approach to uh, kind of visualize this problem. But even if you didn't use, um, you know, either method that I used to solve this problem, as long as you understood what you were doing, that's perfectly fine. Now, a lot of you out there probably have a lot of experience being craftsmen or, or you know, worked in construction. And that is outstanding because, you know, um, it really gives you an appreciation for practical mathematics, things like working with fractions, area, volume, and whatnot. And I'll tell you, uh, when people say, well, you know, where is math used? You know, it's just used everywhere. Now, if you want to kind of brush up on some basic mathematics in terms of area and volume, basic geometry, let me give you a couple uh, suggestions. One, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel on various uh, geometry, basic geometry uh, topics. But if you want to learn a little bit more about geometry, uh, let me go ahead and give you a few additional recommendations. So one, I have a couple of chapters in my pre-algebra course. You'll find links to uh, these courses uh, in the description below on basic geometry. But if you really want to learn more advanced uh, level geometry, okay, like full complete course, then check out my full geometry course. And in that course, you'll learn even basic trigonometry. But uh, either way, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, this video. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.